Welcome back to our continued conversation about forest ecology and how the different parts of the forest work and live together. Trees and animals, water and soil, rocks and weather. There are so many parts to a forest and I'm wondering what you drew and wrote this week. Hello, second and third grade wild writers of the Maranick. It is still forest ecology week and we are thinking about how different parts of the forest interact with each other, the living things and the non-living things and including in those living things, the producers, the consumers, the decomposers and how they all work together. And I shared with you how I was making collections in my notebook and you can see I went back and I added color to these collections. It almost looks like a photograph album of family pictures of the forest here. So I still have the same notes and there's that little a bug that drew, walked on my paper and my, I notice, I wonder, and it reminds me of, of things that I saw next to the Vernal Pool. Here are my shadow pages. I added a little bit of green shading to my words. More color here. And then I thought I would take, so I have these poems here, and then I did a couple other things. I added a little decoration to my page here with a rubber stamp that I had carved myself a while ago from an eraser. You can see it here. It's simply a plain white eraser on which I had drawn an oak leaf, and then I carved it out with a linoleum cutter that you can see here. And I carved out the parts that I wanted to remain the paper color when I stamp it, and then I can take it like this. Give it a press down and on my journal here, you can see, I'll just put another stamp on here, right here. <laughs> you see, so that's another oak leaf. And this is just an eraser stamp that I carved. I like making eraser stamps. There's another one you can see. I started to decorate the front of my nature journal here. And this is just another way to play around with materials. But I added color to the backgrounds of the poems that I wrote where I was really focusing on what things reminded me of. And I decided to write a couple more. One about the lacy leaves because those keep coming up for me. So this one says, lacy leaves lie on the bottom of this pool. They are like old fancy clothes, not needed anymore. And I thought I'd do one in the voice of the leaf, like I'd write being the leaf. So I did draw it first as I thought about my idea. I was a bud. I was a green leaf. I blew in the breeze. I turned brown and lived for months under snow. Now I look like leaf lace. And so I took some of the jotting and thinking and collecting from earlier and played around with it a little bit more in my nature journal. So I plan to keep enjoying my time in here. I hope you do too. Again, a nature journal isn't just something I write in one time and then I'm done. It's like a a friend I keep coming back to. It's like home base if I was playing hide and go seek where I'd keep coming back and keep coming back. And in fact, there's somebody here right beside me who wants to see you and I'm going to introduce you to Firefly. So he's an old farm cat and he's a good boy and he's been lying on a blanket right beside me the whole time I've been talking to you. So I look forward to seeing you again. Take care and see you next week. Bye. While I have been chatting with you, Firepaw has been lying right beside me. He says hello. This week, I wish you lots of exploration in your nature journal and good time in the forest. We can look at and think about the forest from far away or right close up and we can draw and write and wonder. I would like to read you the final poem from my first book, Forest Has a Song, illustrated by Robin Gorley, published by Clarion. Farewell. Forest breathes a spicy breeze, it blows into my ear. When you go home, do not forget my leaves, my song, my dear. Remember, I am forest. Remember, I am here.
right wild, Mama Maranick friends, right wild. <laughs>